Uh, first thing we can do is we can integrate the audience. So if someone in the audience asks a question, for instance, we want a camera to focus on that person, but I don't want to pay someone to sit in that room all day long just to toggle over to another camera. That's a waste of time. We want to automate that. So we're going to automate it with automatic camera preset recall. Audience switching enabled. Uh, Professor McCarrick, uh, your TA here, uh, I'd like to interject a little bit and talk about ACPR. Now, when I started talking, that camera over there switched to me. And it's done so because my voice is hitting the proximity of that microphone. And that microphone is delivering proximity data to QSIS so that it can make the switch automatically. And if I'm another student and I stand over here and I've got a question, once again, that microphone is going to give us some XY data to tell us, hey, there's someone in the room on the other side that needs to be in the shot. Now you can see the camera has now aimed at me and I am included. Now that's why we got two microphones, because if I had one mic, two microphones, two cameras, if I had one camera trying to do this, then as soon as Patrick starts talking, it would look at him, and then it's going to pan across the whole audience and look at me. Then people are vomiting on their laptops because they think that they're in a roller coaster. You can't learn if you're vomiting. I've tried that before. So instead, we can give them a more cinematic experience by cutting to when the shot is ready. If I stop talking and Patrick starts talking, that second camera can go and focus on him, and when it's ready, then we cut to that. Yeah, and let's take a quick look at the way that we've got this preset set. It might look a little wide, and that is absolutely by design. Darren, if you get your head out of that screen right now, hopefully, or it's going to pick you up. There we go. So if, if we think about what we've got here, we've actually created a margin of error for QSIS to work with. Um, and when we deploy another technology called auto framing, auto framing enabled, it's going to count the number of faces that it sees. So it sees my friend over here. Come on over here. It sees two people, and it's going to frame both of our faces to be relatively in the center. And if you were to scoot all the way out of frame, it's going to see that you left the frame and it's going to frame right up on me. So take a few more steps that way and we'll give QSIS a second and look at there, pops right back in. 